Good evening, this is BBC London News. More research is needed into wireless technology use in schools according to the Independent Health Protection Agency. Wi-Fi, as it's called, lets a computer link to the internet without the need for wires, and there are wireless hotspots all over London. But as Tom Edwards reports, some people claim the technology is making them ill. It's an easy way to connect your gadget to the internet. Wireless technology uses high-frequency radio waves, and there are thousands of areas or hotspots in the capital where you can connect, and that number's increasing. Kate Fidges is a writer. She says Wi-Fi makes her feel nauseous and seriously affects her quality of life. She can tell when there's one on nearby, and she's had to remove her Wi-Fi system at home. I did begin to feel hugely better. Now, obviously, I'm incredibly cynical about it. One doesn't want to believe that this technology is, uh, could be making you feel peculiar. But I do now recognise symptoms when I go into certain places. The debate on electrosensitivity is a controversial one, and it's coming to some of the most unlikely places. This is Stowe School in Buckinghamshire, and here they've removed some of their Wi-Fi antennae. Has anyone heard of the expression decline and fall? Michael Bevington teaches classics. Yes, yes. After Wi-Fi was installed here, he complained of headaches. If it's uh, affected me in this way, obviously it could affect other people. It could be building up over the period of time. And with young people, I don't think we've got the right to do that to them. We ought to be much more cautious. The official advice is exposure to Wi-Fi radio waves is comparatively low and there's no scientific proof that Wi-Fi can cause harm. However, today the Health Protection Agency told BBC London more research is needed. It is new technology and therefore uh, we can understand uh, the uncertainties and worries that people may have about it. And so we. We, we need to do more research, particularly measurements in schools. Those who say Wi-Fi affects them say that's welcome news and the first step in trying to stop something that makes their lives a misery. Tom Edwards, BBC London News. The biggest regeneration project in the country is facing serious problems because of health and safety executive rules. BBC